Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Well, it is week two, week two check-in on the Super Speed training session. So today I'm going to go through protocol number one again. I'm going to do the training routine, and then we're going to check in and see what whether my club speed has increased, whether my ball speed has increased, and whether I'm able to hit the ball a little bit further in week two. I'm really excited to test this because I've been doing the training session every couple of days to make sure my body's had a chance to rest. And I feel like I've been picking up a little bit more speed. I've seen a little bit more energy. I've actually been using the swing speed radar to monitor my club speed as I've been doing this. And I've noticed a couple of positives. So the first positive is when I do the reverse golf swings, those numbers have been going up. So I'm not a left-handed golfer, but it's nice to see that there's some body balance coming along here too. And then I'm also noticing when I finish up and do those really full max three golf swings, the light stick right at the end, that swing speed has increased. So for sure, I need to get a real golf club in my hands and really test and see how everything's going. So I'm going to test that after we do the training program today. So I'm really excited to announce that Second Swing is going to be giving away to one lucky subscriber, a super speed golf training system. So you have to do two things to qualify for this price. First thing, you must be subscribed to our channel. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you click that red subscribe button down the bottom right there. The second way to qualify is you must comment on our video also. So as long as you are a subscriber to our channel, and you comment on this video, you have a great chance to win a super speed golf training program. I'm really excited to get after it and then take a look and see what this is going to tell us today. I'm going to go out, go through the training protocol here, and then we're going to take a look at some numbers at the end to analyze to see if I picked up some more yardage this week. So I'm first starting with the uh, with the light again. So three swings, no forward and, and we'll do three reverse swings then we'll do the medium and then we'll do the heavy then we'll do the step through and then I'll finish off with three swings with the light super speed stick here as well so today I actually have the sw a swing speed radar in front of me so as I'm doing this I'm going to pay attention to that swing speed and make sure that that number is going up so I'm going to get started here First swing of the day was 113. One eighteen. It's pretty high. One thirteen again. Okay, so I'm going to do the opposite here. Make sure I don't take out anything on the side of the building here. Left handed swings. 93, 100, I think that's the first time I've cracked 100 with left-handed swing, 101, okay, let's switch to the medium weight next, 107, 113, 121, that one really felt really fast. Left-handed. 97, my left-handed swing is definitely getting better. 99. 100. I like it. If only I could swing that fast left-handed with a golf ball in front and then actually hit the golf ball. 103. 108. 
117. That one fell really fast. Okay, left handed. Ninety six. Ninety four. Ninety four. Okay. Take a quick little break here before I do the step through method. Okay, step through method. You want to make sure that your feet are close together. Okay, so make sure your feet are close together here. Want to make sure that swing speed radar was working. And then step through. 108. 110. Felt fast. 110 again. Okay. Now for the uh, reverse side. This is always fun. One hundred, I like it. One hundred again. All right, getting better at the reverse side. All right, medium step through. One ten. One oh nine. 109. 100. 92. That felt a little bit off. 100 again. I have a feeling my swing might be a little faster today. I hope so. Always want to hit the ball further. Okay. Step through. One fifteen. That's pretty high with a heavy stick. One oh five. One twelve. 96 okay we'll take a little break and then we'll finish off this session by absolutely maxing out the light stick and see if I can get some uh, really high swing speed before we jump to hitting the driver all right let's see how fast I've got heart is pumping love it One twenty. If only I could do that with the golf ball on the tee, the real golf club. We'll get there. We're gonna get there. Possibly in this read. One thirty-two. Yikes. That's that's uh, that's seriously fast. One twenty four. Wow. All right. Well, it's time to test it. Let's see what my driver numbers are going to give me today. Well, guys and girls, I'm excited to see what we can find out here. Let's see if I've got some uh, some more club speed or not.
some speed. I didn't quite match the club face up with my uh, with my path very well. But ball speed over 170, club speed 114.7. I'm gonna probably need to uh, adjust this driver around here soon. With me swinging faster and launching the ball even higher. A little too high launch and spin. We'll speed over 170 again. Look at that. That was really good. Alright, come on, can I get to 115 today? A little toey. Pretty good toey though. 302 carry. Well, the good news is, so I haven't seen a major jump in club speed. The good news is it's been consistently in 114 so far. My average club speed last time was 113.7. That might have got it. Oh, yeah. 115.3. Picked up one mile an hour in one week. That's pretty good. That's really good. How about those numbers? Not much else I would change right there. One more swing. Good ball speed again. Nice. Put that one a little bit lower because I overdrew the ball a little bit with that one. But club speed 115.3. Let's take a look at the numbers really quickly. All right, so I got myself to get my club speed consistently close to 115. So my week one testing session, my max club speed was 114.3. Today, we clocked out at 115.3. Not only once, but I did it twice on swings four and five. So we picked up one mile an hour more club speed today. I love it. So that extra week of training using the super speed training session for sure has helped out a lot. Um, my ball speed was consistently in the 170s. Every single swing today was in the 170s. So that's awesome to note there as well. Highest ball speed 173.4 shots four and five but that's really, really incredible stuff. Um, my efficiency actually was pretty good. 1.50 today. Last week it was 149. Now, we do have to pay attention to the dispersion pattern a little bit. The first swing of the day, me getting used to it, I left that face a little bit open. So we can see this shot over here wasn't so good. Didn't go quite as far. But we'll notice those three that were nice and straight. Keep in mind, tall professionals do only hit the fairway about 60% of the time. So I would for sure take three out of five today right in the middle of fairway or just left of center. One left, one right. Now that might be a little bit of tr trouble there, but it's definitely further down there and potentially further offline as well. So that's important for me to note is as I'm doing this, I'm going to keep my swing in check. I'm going to make sure that my club path, my face angle, everything is looking pretty good across the board there as well. So let's look at other numbers. So we look here, my average carry distance last week was right around about 300. With the exception of swing five, pretty much every single one was carrying at least 300 yards. Well, I will notice that I had three that were over 300 today, but the highest carry was 306.1. My highest carry last week was 302.3. .3. So I picked up four more yards of carry distance today. That is, that's huge. That's huge for one more week. That's four more training sessions and I picked up four more yards. So maybe it's a yard of training session. I'm not sure there. Um, if we look at overall there, you can see that yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with these numbers. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping to get to 115 today, and I'm glad I glad I did. During the training session, I was able to monitor 
my swing speed. So I really appreciate having the swing speed radar to pay attention to the numbers. The one thing that really impressed me today while I was doing this session was my reverse swing. So my left-handed swing. It's been a little bit harder for me to try and match and get these swings closer together, but I was actually getting closer to 100 miles an hour with my left-handed swing. The first couple of sessions, I know my swing was not as fast. So it was important to get your club speed up on both sides because we want to make sure that our, our golf swing is not just right-handed only. When you're working out, you don't just lift your weights on your left side or your right side. You work out both sides of your body. So I'm trying to make sure that my body is for sure in good sync there as well. So this has been um, this has been fun. So far, picked up a few more yards. Picked up another mile an hour more club speed. What else can I ask for? If I was going to pick up one mile an hour of club speed a week, I'd be a very, very happy boy. So thanks for joining in today. I'm excited to test next week. I'm going to continue on doing a protocol session every two days. So Sorry, we're going to skip, skip a day to make sure my body has a chance to recover. So for today is Thursday. I'm going to do another one on Saturday another one on Monday, and then I do another one on Wednesday, and then we will test again. So thanks for joining in. Hope this helps out your swing. So I definitely highly recommend to give the Super Speed Stick a try.